Hi, how are you? Good to see you. We're going to read some more Frog and Toad today. This is Frog and Toad Together is the book, and we are going to read two stories. Remember, there's a, the table of contents has the different stories in the same book, and uh, we read the other day, we read the first two. So today we are going to read the story. It's called Cookies, and it starts on page 30. And then we are going to read Dragons and Giants, and that starts on page 42. Okay, so that's um, the table of contents. So lots of stories in one book. First one that we're going to read is called Cookies, and this is one of my favorite stories. It is, um, it's really funny. Okay, Cookies. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one, and they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. What do you think? They look kind of like chocolate chip cookies. What do you think? I think I always thought they were chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. Have you ever eaten too much candy, too many cookies? That feels kind of bad. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. We must stop eating, cried Toad, as he ate another. Yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need Willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all these cookies? asked Toad. Right, said Frog. Have you ever tried to have willpower like you really want to do something but you know you're not supposed to? Gotta have willpower, try really hard. Let's see if it works. Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up on a high shelf. There, said Frog. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey birds, here are cookies. Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. 
yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, said Frog. I'm sorry, sorry, said that wrong. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I'm going home now to bake a cake. I like that story. They try really hard not to eat the cookies. And finally, the only way they were able to have willpower was just to give the cookies to the birds. Sometimes it's the best kind of willpower. All right. Kind of silly. This next story that we're going to read is called Dragons and Giants. Frog and Toad were reading a book together. People in this book are brave, said Toad. They fight dragons and giants, and they are never afraid. I wonder if we are brave, said Frog. Frog and Toad looked into a mirror. We look brave, said Frog. Yes, but are we, asked Toad. Frog and Toad went outside. We can try to climb this mountain, said Frog. That should tell us if we are brave. Frog went leaping over rocks, and Toad came puffing up behind him. They came to a dark cave. A big snake came out of the cave. Hello, lunch, said the snake when he saw Frog and Toad. He opened his wide mouth. Frog and Toad jumped away. Toad was shaking. I'm not afraid, he cried. Pretty scary. They climbed higher and they heard a noise. Many large stones were rolling down the mountain. It's an avalanche, cried Toad. Frog and Toad jumped away. Frog was trembling. I'm not afraid, he shouted. think they're afraid. It's okay to be afraid. It's keeping them safe. They came to the top of the mountain. The shadow of a hawk fell over them. Frog and Toad jumped under a rock and the hawk flew away. We're not afraid, screamed Frog and Toad at the same time. Then they ran down the mountain very fast. They ran past the place where they saw the avalanche. They ran past the place where they saw the snake. They ran all the way to Toad's house. Frog, I am glad to have a brave friend like you, said Toad. He jumped into the bed and pulled the covers over his head. And I'm happy to know a brave person like you, Toad, said Frog. He jumped into the closet and shut the door. Toad stayed in the bed and Frog stayed in the closet. They stayed there for a long time just feeling very brave together. The end. All right. So Frog and Toad probably were afraid, but they were pretending not to be. But being brave doesn't mean that you don't feel afraid. Being brave means that even when you feel afraid, you do the thing that you're afraid of. Like if you're learning to ride a bike and you're afraid that you might fall, but you try anyways. That's being brave. All right. Well, I hope that you like the stories from Frog and Toad. We'll read some more next time. And you have a good day.